Hey guys, so in this video I'm going to be doing Grant's water bottle. Kind of a, um, kind of an obscure prop um, from the movie. Um, I mean it's only really featured for a couple seconds in, in one clip, but um, yeah, as you may know I like to do some of the more obscure props um, from the movie. Um, like the uh, fence lights and I got the security camera up there, uh, stuff like that. Um, yeah, so this is it. This is uh, this is Grant's water bottle. Um, this isn't 100% accurate. Um, well, I should say it's it's as accurate as I could get it. Um, this company, I don't know if you can see. Let me bring up the camera. Adventure 16. They're based out of uh, San Diego, California, and uh, this is actually the patch that was uh, that was featured on that bottle uh, bottle carrier. So if you look over here. Go ahead and play the clip. But, uh. Yeah, so there it is. Like I said, it's only for a couple of seconds. Um. But that's it. And, uh. Yeah, I actually was unable to find a, a bottle carrier like this with the patch and everything are, are already on it. So. Yeah, I'm sure it was. It probably existed. I mean, maybe they weren't very popular, but I mean, I could not find it. You know, I've searched, you know, on and off for you know the last few years just looking for one. So I ended up deciding to make one. Um, actually, made this. Uh, how long ago was that? A few months ago, six, six, eight months ago, something like that. So I found a uh, another bottle carrier that was very similar. Um, in you know, size, you know, this is a, uh, a 32 ounce or one pint, uh, bottle. So I found a, um, a carrier that was similar, but, um, the only difference was they didn't come in black. Uh, they had a dark blue, they had a, um, yellow, orange, like all these other colors, um, they did not have black, uh, which I'll show you those right now. And those are on eBay right now. You can, you can go right now and, um, uh, and uh, and find those. So that there we go. So the one I went with is made by Liberty Mountain. Um, you can see they're they're pretty cheap. They're ten. Was it ten ten ninety nine? Um, but yeah, this one was close. This one was dark blue. Um, I say there's a yellow one. Uh, they were very close. Obviously, they have a patch on it that says Liberty Mountain, which is not correct. Um, so upon receiving it, I actually cut the, you know, the threads and, and removed that patch. Uh, let me see, what else? Uh, yeah, another uh, couple parts I had to modify was if you look at this uh, strap, you can see it attaches at the top there and loops back to the top. From what I can tell on the movie one, it uh, moves where it latches down at the bottom like that. So I actually had, had this restitched. Uh, there's a guy at my work who does um, uh, like leather working and he makes you know custom uh, messenger bags, handbags, backpacks, you know basically you know any kind of leather working. So I didn't want to attempt this. I know he had he has like a really nice sewing machine so uh, I gave this to him uh, to do and he, he did a great job. He relocated the strap down here so it looks closer to the movie. Um, he also you know, sewed this patch on, which I actually found on another piece of Adventure 16, uh, you know, another product of theirs. I think I got it off of a, what was it? It was a while back. It was, it was a hat or something. Yeah, I think it was just like, like a ball cap. And it had this patch on it. This patch is kind of rare. Um, there's a, you know, there's a few variations of this, you know, this, of their logo apparently. But uh, I was able to find to find one of the old ones, which I'll show you. Let's just look on eBay right now. There's a couple, or there's one that had sold um, not that long ago. Let me see. Where's that? So when I searched for, I just you know put Adventure 16 in quotes. Um, big, you know, the quotes are important because if you just put Adventure 16, you're going to get a ton of results. So when you put quotes around it, it makes sure it's explicitly, you know. Uh, that text. Um, I also searched for a lot of used stuff. 
Um, you put the used filter on there. Um, filters out a lot of the crap. But uh, you can see here, here's a different style. Um, and then yeah, you can see there, there's a hat that had sold with the, with the patch on it. So basically what I did is I, I took the, uh, I took the patch, uh, had it sewed on uh, to this other carrier. So earlier I mentioned that they didn't, I couldn't find this same bag in, uh, in black. They had dark blue, they had yellow, orange. So this is actually made out of nylon, um, which you can, you can dye nylon. Uh, I used uh, some RIT dye, the powder stuff, uh, put it um, on the stovetop, got some, some near boiling water, some vinegar, and some of that black RIT dye, and uh, it came out pretty good. Um, I did two of them, you know, why not, I'm just, you know, same amount of dye. So uh, yeah, that's it. Uh, the actual bottle itself is a Nal Nalgene bottle, Nalgene, Nalgene. Uh, it's a, um, what do they call that? Not a polypropylene plastic, it's a uh, polyeth polyethylene plastic. Uh, yeah, you, you, if you do a Google search for uh, um, Nalgene, you can see what it's made out of. But uh, yes, it's, cop it's really common in like lab equipment. I guess it's an alternative to using glass lab equipment. So that's where it uh, originated from. The only thing about the Grants is that it has this kind of unique, uh, what do you call it, lip on it, I guess. A lot of the newer ones, it's it's a lot different. Uh, this is also a narrow mouth um, bottle. If, if, when you're doing your searching, they have a wide mouth, which has the big cap, and there's narrow mouth, which is this one. But yeah, apparently this is an, an older style with this uh, weird lip on it, this, this uh, kind of exaggerated lip. So um, I actually found this one by searching for you know, lab, uh, bottle, um, uh, I think it's called like high density polyethylene bottle, something like that. Basically, um, I used a couple different searches and found it. This is actually a vintage one. Um, yeah, the, I, apparently there's some controversy about these older bottles having, um, having some, uh, issues with, with safety, with leaching or something like that. Like the, the, chemicals leaching into the water. I don't know if that's actually true or not. You can do some research on it. I don't actually plan to use this as a water bottle. Uh, it's going to be more of a prop just sitting in the Explorer. Um, but yeah, that's it. So yeah, th these are one pint or uh, 32 ounces. Or yeah, 1,000 milliliters. You can see at the bottom there. But uh, yeah, yeah, good luck uh, searching and finding these things. Uh, this cap was not actually the original cap that came with this. It had like a like a spout cap that came with it, so I actually bought um, one of the other Nal um, bottles, Nalgene bottles, and took the cap off of it. Uh, you don't see the cap in the movie, so I just kind of found a black one so it matches the the bag. But uh, yeah, it's a you know fun little prop to do, and it didn't didn't take a whole lot of effort or time. Uh, oh yeah, well one more thing to note is that when you search for these bottles or the the bags. The one I found was, was made by Liberty Mountain. So you can see the, the original tag there. They also have an insulated version, which I bought just to test, and it's, it fits too tightly. Uh, if you look at the, the way the, the bag fits on Grant's bottle, it's very loose. Uh, this one just didn't, it just didn't, didn't fit right, didn't match right. Um, it's, it's got extra padding in there that made it a lot more um, you know, top, so. Uh, that's about it, yeah. Uh, good luck, and, um, yeah, thanks for watching.